Hello, my name is Shane Ratmond and I'm going to quickly go over my IFE 102 Raspberry Pi Mini project. For the project, I decided to do the web server and default site and I extended it from there. I completed all the objectives in Chapter 1 and I focused on temperature for Part 2. And if I type in the IP of the Raspberry Pi, we can go to the website like this. Um, my website has three main parts and Part 1 is the Apache web server itself running PHP. Part 2 is having a Python script that can be called from the website. I will post PHP and HTML code onto the page about the current time and temperature of the Pi. And part 3 is working with the Google API to upload a backload of temperature data into Google Sheets every minute, as shown here. And I'll go to the bottom so we can see it update as we go. Here, so line 892. I'm going to quickly show some of my codes. So I'm going to SSH into my Pi. So for part one, I'll show the main HTML code for the web page. Here it is. I have some CSS styling to make the page black. I have some menu links to make the buttons interactive where they hide when you hover over them, they change color and stuff. And down here, here are the links to the web pages. So the first one, home page, links to the index of PHP. The second one links to the Python file that will upload the C you tap to the web page and then the last one is the Google Sheet what the um, CPU temperature is and then I have an image source here that shows an image and then I have some PHP commands that show what the current date is here um, next I'll move on to looking at the CPU temp Python file so this function here calls the is normal function to read the temperature and then it prints out some HTML code similar to the index PHP one and then down here it has some custom code to print the current date and then it prints the temperature as well this one um, and that file is run in CGIB in which means that the web server can access that file so if I edit here or to Google Sheets sorry so you can see here that it tries to measure the temperature and then upload it and it does that every minute or 60 seconds here you can see it takes my credentials and then it will upload the the date and then the time and then the temperature and then the time the temperature delta so I can see what the temperature difference has been and then that is executed in this file so when the pi boots it calls the python file and executes it and then I can tell if, it, if the file has crashed or anything by looking at the system file for that, which you can see that it fits it here and any errors will come up down here. And that's it, that's my project. Thank you.